statically and dynamically induce EMF. We are now familiar with the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction and the experimental setup by Faraday. In that arrangement, an EMF was induced in the coil when an electromagnet moved into or away from the coil. We could obtain similar results if we kept the electromagnet stationary and moved the bigger coil around the electromagnet. Here, the EMF is induced because there is a relative motion between the two coils. The EMF thus induced is called a dynamically induced EMF. The Faraday's law of induction states that the induced EMF in a circuit is equal to the negative of the time rate of change of magnetic flux enclosed by the circuit. There is no mention of a relative motion in this law. If there is a change in magnetic flux over time, then an EMF can be induced across a conductor. So the obvious question is, is motion necessary for electromagnetic induction? The answer is no. Motion is not necessary condition for electromagnetic induction. This leads to another question. How can we generate EMF without motion? The answer is in the Faraday's law itself. If we create a time varying magnetic flux, we can generate an EMF. DC currents can create only a constant magnetic flux. AC can produce time varying magnetic flux as AC currents themselves are time varying. In this experimental setup, we have two coils of insulated wire, coil A and coil B. They are wound around a ring shaped iron piece called core. We use an iron core because iron allows magnetic flux to pass through it more easily than air. We connect a low voltage low frequency AC source to coil A. When a time varying current flows through the coil, a time varying magnetic flux is also created. This flux readily passes through the iron core and links with the coil B. The flux linking coil B has time varying magnitude. This creates an EMF across the coil B which causes a current flow through the coil which is detected by the galvanometer. The magnetic flux generated by coil A changes direction as it produced by a AC current. So the EMF generated across the coil B and the current through it also changes direction with the same frequency as the AC source. That is the reason why the galvanometer is deflecting in both directions. This induced EMF caused by the time varying flux is called statically induced EMF.